Good morning, everyone. It's Weston Williams, aka Reiki Flyer. So, this morning I'm going to be talking about trifurcation, three world split. I know what a topic on this morning that we uh, have here. First, I want to show you <coughs> the actual sunrise. How gorgeous it is. Mount Princeton. The Octarians were sending messages yesterday talking about um, to watch the skies right before sunrise. Just keep an eye out for the Octarians. That they will have like little, little signs for you to know that they're out there for you, and that they're listening to us, which is pretty cool. Anyway, it's pretty early in the morning. This is Amelia, Miss Amelia Earhart. <laughs> She's stretching. This is Anubis. The Scooby Doo. Anubis is his name. I call him Scooby Doo. Anyway, so the energies on the planet currently are shifting, as you know. <laughs> They're always shifting, but um, I wanted to show you. This is a crazy picture, I know. So if you look at this bean size or bean shaped looking shape <laughs> in the photo. Um, basically that represents the new earth creation, like the energies that are being used to create the new earth. They represented one of the earths in the old earth. These aren't separate places. These are just different, um, perceptions, which are realities, which are dimensions. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this whole earth that we are, I knew this whole earth that we're living in currently represents a, um, there's like different categories of people that exist on the planet. And those collective, like the collective actually energy from all those people on the planet will actually create the new earth. So when we talk about new earth, um, it's still being created. It's still being morphed and molded together transmuted and transformed um so we want to like follow a process somewhat in our lives if we want to be a part of that morphing and creation of the new earth and what it represents um and so i'm just going to go through some categories of there's uh six categories here i'm sure there's lots more if you divide it down even further but just to show you representation of the people on the planet, their belief systems, and what they're like, what we have going on here. So, the first category represents the AI Borg, <laughs> which means those are people um, that's 15% of the population on the planet basically is a part of the system. Is They're still morphed up in like the control about everything, and and they don't ask questions, they just live daily lives, and, and which is fine, all this is okay. None of these categories that I'll talk about are bad, good, there's no such thing really. Um, there's just categories of individual people and what they represent, you know, on the energy that they're bringing to the planet. So if you represent, or if you picture um, old Earth is what we live on right now, this now moment, but this now moment also, there's creation of everything. So there's a new earth over here. And it's just like an idea, if you if you want to um, put it in like a linear perspective. An idea um, that's being created. And it's used from this old earth to create.
create the new earth and all the people that are on this this earth that we're on now basically their thoughts are creating this new earth and the idea of this new earth and what it represents now if you look at Deepak Chopra uh, Deepak Chopra <laughs> he talks about how how things are created and what it takes to create something um, which are thoughts so basically the th the creation of a thought will create the energy needed to propel um, something forward and turn it into like not just an idea to an actual physical process. So physicality doesn't actually, the creation of physicality doesn't happen until a thought happens first. So all these six categories, there's 15% here. 15% here, 15% here, 15% here, 15% here, 20% here, 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 this big area. Now, all those percentages put together equals the energy and the thoughts of all the people on the planet. So the first category we have the AI board, people that are still part of the system, the that haven't, the unawakened is what we call them. Um... They haven't come to the, or like received the information yet, you know, to cause them to question or, or change anything different. Um, then there's category number two, which is the unified of the indigo warriors. Unification of indigo warriors. Somebody just walked into the room. Which are the, basically the category of the people that have unified um, the indigo warriors, like the, the newbies, the new ones, the ones that have awakened, but they're like, mm -hmm. they're still like, wow, we're spiritual and we're, we're going to do this, like, and go crazy about it. And, like, be warriors, we're going to fight for what's right. Um, we've all been there. But we all go through a change to uh, <laughs> calm us down a little bit from being such a spiritual right. warrior. Right. Um, well, that's category number three. That, it's called the spiritual divine. And, uh, you know, Basically, the people that have uh, awakened. And they've done many years of like some sort of spiritual yeah, practice. Spiritual um, whether that's Reiki or the Oracle or... Um, you know, for that's my dad in the background. Um, and then they, so that like represents, the third category represents like the, the um, star seeds, the Christed ones, the ones that are bringing the Christ energy, um, the uh -huh. Uh -huh. galactic travelers, <laughs> um, the priests, and. Like the, um, these are like different priests that you would think of, not like in churches and stuff, but priests from back in the day used to be like holders of knowledge and energy. And they were like teachers of the newer ways of mm -hmm. uh, living, like on the outside of the cities, the secret, secret mystery schools. And then category number four would be all those people, five and six, the priests, the, the um, galactic travelers, the star seeds, the Christ of one. Now, when you also look at this trification, trification means that there's an old energy, there's a, an existing energy, and then there's like a new one that's being created with the energy of those two creating the third um so there's like a split in like energies because of all these categories here these six categories split off and there's like six categories of people and then each of those represent the thoughts that they're thinking those six categories of people collectively would create yeah start creating these new earths <laughs> um the funny thing is is like the dark side if you want to call it the dark side 
they wanted to try to like change what they saw in the future which actually they're trying to cause a, like a false awakening like a false um awakening of the planet right. meaning that they're trying to make it look like a hoax to people that are still in this ai board section um to like like the spiritual awakening is like a hoax so that way it causes like a fake false awakening and then people like don't believe it but actually in actuality since both sides are going to be thinking the same thing collective consciousness will actually create the real awakening of the planet so it like by it like yeah, deflects right. then what else do we, what else can you do <laughs> it like deflects the actual yeah, purpose of what they were doing. <laughs> um, so, like, the... Because there's, like, a false awakening and there's, like, a real awakening happening. And so, like, the two energies combined causes, like, the awakening of the planet. So, shh, that's kind of a secret. Um, I'm not, like, a super well-known <laughs> spiritual person yet. Um, so they don't completely block all my shit but um yeah so anyway so we have this big beam as our planet and all these thoughts and all these woo energies are being pushed through this funnel and then of creation so it's like a funnel of creation that goes over and then creates the new the new earths there's three tribes so there's like the three sections of this side and three sections of this side are creating, these are two new Earths. Technically it'd be like multiples, but we say two um, just because when you break it down and by the numbers, the collective thoughts will be more so creating three planets. I mean, sorry, two new planets plus the, the one that we live in already. <laughs> Those two planets basically will create one planet eventually with their collective thoughts which are all of our thoughts um combined so when you say trification like the third part the third planet three world split would be the the third like what combined like people that are on the middle grounds of of this um Middle ground meaning that you don't have too much of your foot on that side or too much of your foot on this side. Like spiritual people um, that are really spiritual, they don't have their feet on the ground. So like it's like you have to ground yourself and you have to be a part of the physical world too. And like the real world. And so this has a lot to do with what is needed to combine what is happening now with what we know we're trying to uh succeed and then also when i say we the light workers um and then also like what the new the newbies are bringing as they come on board and um uh information starts upgrading the their realities and like you know light starts turning on in those dark pathways that weren't seen before they'll start connecting to the new Earth's energies as well, um, even more. And so, like, when you turn on a light inside of a dark room, like, what happens? Um, light comes on. Poof, light fills the room immediately. So that's how fast, you know, it could take to enlighten the world, like, immediately. There's just a couple different light switches popping on. <laughs> a couple light switches popping on, meaning you and me. A couple more, and like the whole like world will ignite. So when it happens, like when the tri trification, like the energies push and switch and go, all of a sudden, like it's overflown into the next. Like we're gonna know it, we're gonna feel it, and we're gonna see it. Like we're gonna see it around us happen so fast. So. Just be prepared um, for the new the new energies coming in. They're going to be intense. And you will feel them. 
Um, when we talk about like three world splits and like all these dimensions and stuff, your life is never going to like just be like whoosh, all of a sudden like you're in this alternate reality and like oh my god like all this weird shit's happening. No, it happens as a transition of your thoughts and your creation of your thoughts and like also your perception will create this. Um, so you maybe not. Don't always think everything's going to be, like, visual, like, right in front of you happening while we're humans. When we talk about these, like, splits of worlds and... Uh, it could also mean metaphorically or, like, energetically. So when you look at a world that we have, like, this beautiful Earth, and we talk about stuff like this, it doesn't mean that things are going to start turning all computerized and, like... Visually, you're going to start seeing all this weird shit. It just means that the energies on the planet are splitting and moving into these directions. And the things that we can do... It's our beautiful sun. The things that we can do will be upgraded and changed. And, like, eventually, maybe, you know, there'll be all, like, this weird computer... Crazy shit that you can see happening in front of you, but... Mainly while we're humans, this is what we're going to experience. <laughs> um, it's it's going to be a gradual shift, but there will be times where it happens really fast. So, like, some things that we get upgraded with or changes that are made will be like, whoosh, and then hit us. Um, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that real quick this morning. And it's almost Christmas time. It's the uh, December 13th. 13th always a lucky day for me. I was born on Friday the 13th, so my brother was too. If I can get his ass over here. Um, I'm at the ranch for Christmas. Anyway, much love to you all. Talk to you later. Peace.